What's up, Calc gang? Welcome back to some mechanics and materials. So, we have this beam here, and we have two bolts holding them together. So, we know our allowable shear stress uh, is 12 ksi, and our allowable normal stress is 20 ksi. So, our goal is to find the max P force allowed here without the system breaking. So, we don't know which one's going to break first. Is it going to be the shear, or is it going to be the normal? That's what we need to find. So, let's, let's make a force body diagram. So, let's take a cut, right? We're going to take a cut at that 60 degree angle, taking a cut like that, and we have P here pushing or pulling. So our shear, our normal, is going to be pushing this way, and our shear is going to be perpendicular, right? So these are going to form a right angle, and our always normal is perpendicular to the cut, shear is parallel to the cut. So we want to find what these are, right? So what we can do, uh, instead of doing a sum of forces x and sum of forces y, we can split this up into normal and tangent coordinates. And then if you look at it instead, this is 30 degrees. Uh, what you can do instead is kind of shift that let tilt, make this your x-axis, make this your y-axis. And it's going to be really easy to see that normal is equal to p cosine of 30, right? And v is equal to p sine of 30. So however you want to get there is good, but I recommend just making that normal and tangent component. Uh, force body diagram makes it a lot easier to do. So now we have this, and now we need to go into our allowable stress equations. So stress, right? So let's start with the shear. T allow. This is shear over area, right? Uh, that is the shear stress equation. It's the shear force to over the area of the bolt. So let's, let's add these up. So we know the shear stress is P sine of 30. We know T allow is 12 KSI. And our area is going to be pi over 4 diameter squared, so 0 0.3 squared. And you're going to get that here. P is equal to 1,696 pounds. But remember, we have two bolts, so we're going to need to multiply this by 2. So we're going to take 2p, or I guess this is half a p. So then we get the actual force of that is 3,390 pounds. So this is the max weight we can apply, assuming that it breaks on shear first. But we want to see what happens if it breaks on normal uh, stress first. So let's do the normal stress allow. We have that that's equal to 20 ksi. And this is going to be normal over area. So let's take p cosine of 30 and then divide it by diameter, pi over 4, 0 0.3 squared. So then, if we solve for p here, right, we're going to multiply the area over, divide by cosine of 30, you know how it's done. You get that p here is equal to 1,632 pounds. So you multiply this by 2, and you get that p is equal to 3,260 pounds. So this number for the normal stress is less than that number of the shear stress, which means it's going to break first under normal stress. So this is the maximum P that we can apply to the system without it breaking. And that's how you solve this problem. Right? Not too tricky. But you just gotta know these equations and know how to do statics, right? So if you have any questions, feel free to check out my channel. I got a whole lot of videos on this, playlists and all that. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.